the, the, the single fact that has made most impact on you since, uh, to, since you arrived? I think just to see the bicycle used in a manner that's so different the way that we traditionally think about it in the industry. Yeah. For most people in the industry, it's, it's all about the high end and it's all about the latest technology and it's all about the most competitive usage. And mm -hmm. here, all of that goes out the window. It is just yeah. the most basic need of transportation. And to be able to service these people with a bicycle is incredible to see what a bicycle can do for these people in terms of empowering them and giving them a lifeline. Yeah. It's yeah, really well, I think that's, that's things we never, we we never we never think about that when we you know, when we think about bicycles. Uh, I got a comment of uh, a very nice comment actually of somebody who reacted to the blog I wrote uh, yesterday. I don't know if you heard about it, but uh, there was somebody who reacted on on you know I explained a little bit about World Bicycle Relief and what bikes could do, and and what World Bicycle, World Bicycle Relief was about, and. Um, this person commented that uh, he all of a sudden felt so bad while he was reading this. He he thought about he had a he had a fight with his wife because he had spent money that he was supposed to spend on his new specialized bike. Uh, and uh, when he read everything about World Bicycle Relief, he said, "You know, we are just so spoiled and." Uh, they got together and uh, they got money together to buy a bike actually for World Bicycle Relief, ah. which, was, which was very nice. Yeah. That's a great success story yeah. to come out of the... Uh, well, you know, it's a, little, it's a little one, but all little pieces help. All little bits and pieces help. Absolutely. Um, so you sit on the board of directors for World Bicycle Relief. How did you come to be involved with the organization and why are you passionate about it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I get the same question over and over again. But, uh, it's uh, not original. No, it's good. It's, it's, not, it's no. It's it's actually you know when when I when I met FK, I think it must be about uh, two years ago now, almost two years ago, I guess. Yeah. Um, I met him through SRAM because I was uh, you know taking over uh, the Astara team and we were looking for a component sponsor. And so they, we got in touch, and uh, Dave, Dave, Dave Z actually started to talk about World Bicycle Relief, and then he and FK came to my house in Madrid to explain World Bicycle Relief and uh, what was all, what was all about. And uh, for me, it was just something that you know just made too much sense to not be part of this, you know, because uh, I was kind of in in a, in a phase in my life where. Uh, when you look back on everything you have done and, and basically you realize that everything I have done and everything I have is through the bike and thanks to the bike. And uh, to be able to give back through the bike uh, was just something that you know, just made too much, sense, too much sense for me to not do it. And when FK asked me, you know, uh, well, would, you be, uh, would, would you be willing to be part of it? I said, yes, I, I think I have to be part of this. Because it's just such a nice, such a nice initiative, and uh, uh, you know, the symbolic common factor of, of the bike is uh, you know was, was was just too too nice to to say no to. And uh, and I'm very happy. I'm very happy that uh, that I said yes, and uh, very sad that I'm not, I cannot be there now because one of the one of the first things I said to FK was. You know, if I do this, I also want to be actively involved and actually also be in the field to really see it with my own eyes and see what else we can do or if I have any other ideas. So we had to wait for quite a time to have the, the, the schedules match and, and, uh, and for me to be able to go over there. And now at the, at the last moment I had to cancel, but uh, it's, it's only postponed and the next, next trip of FK, I'm going to be there with him. Good. I hope there'll be another opportunity. So one of the I'm things sure, we've I'm sure they will. one of the things we've seen is just the the impact that a bicycle can have for people here. You mentioned a little bit about the uh, what a bicycle brought to you, but maybe you can be a little bit more specific about 
how a, bi how a bicycle has impacted your life, um, personally and professionally. Yeah. Well, you know, in, in, in a country as Belgium, it's, it's logical that, uh, you know, Holland and Belgium, Holland even more so than Belgium, but uh, you, you use the bike for everything, you know. Um, uh, people are on bikes all the time, even if it rains, even if it's cold. People go to the shops, buy bikes, to, the, to work, to school. I, I always went to school by bike, even if it was not in my hometown. Um, so for, since I'm a little kid, I'm, I've been on a bike. And then also logically, you know, when you uh, when you start to, when you're when you like sports, you either are pushed into soccer or into cycling. And uh, my family has a cycling background, so it was logical that I was I was pushed into that direction. And and I was very fortunate that ultimately the bike could uh, could be a means of uh, of life for me because I, beca I became a professional cyclist. Then I retired, and as of today, I'm still day day by day, every day, in contact with bikes through my job now. So you know, you know, the bike has been something very, very, very important. The most important object in my life, actually, if I look back at it, you know. How do you think that the bicycle can become more of a means of transportation in the United States? Is there a possibility mm -hmm. for it to have a broader uh, everyday use in the States? I think so. I think more and more people start to realize that uh, the bike... Can you still hear me? Yes. Hello? Okay, because the image froze for a while. Um, no, that, I mean, if you see, if you see the, already the industry in the United States, is, I think it's the biggest growing market uh, in, terms of, in terms of bikes, uh, also high-end bikes. But uh, in everyday life, uh, there's, you, know, you see all these initiatives in big cities uh, where the bike is promoted and, you know, I, every, every time I go to the United States, I'm, I'm always more and more surprised of, about how many people are using bikes also in big cities where, in theory, it's dangerous to be on the bike with all the cars in, in New York, Washington, and I see these initiatives uh, growing all over the United States. So, you know, unfortunately, it's for traveling for big distances that you can never compare the bike to the car. But, uh, but yeah, I think it's I think it's growing a lot in the United States. Actually, I don't know. Maybe maybe you have another idea about this. But uh, I, I think, you know, there's I see a lot of organizations who are also encouraging people who to use the bike and even uh, give incentives for people who go to work by bike. So um, that's, uh, that's that's pretty good to see. Yeah, the, the latest statistics are really uplifting, um, seeing that some of the mode share numbers in certain city centers in the United States are becoming more uh, dominant for cycling use. So I think that's promising, and, and hopefully that will spur more interest among the government and civic leaders to start to improve the cycling infrastructure and start to encourage cycling as a means of transportation in their cities. So I, I think that yeah. uh, there's a lot of hope for the U.S. to start to embrace the bicycle the way that a lot of European cities have. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, uh, definitely, I can I can see that the awareness uh, and the bike becomes a, becomes a very popular sport. The bicycling becomes a very popular sport in the United States. So. Ultimately, it also has to affect uh, the normal life, the more normal life, and using the bike by, uh, as, as transportation only. Yeah. Yeah. So, I do hope Good. you have a chance to come to uh, to Africa to see the work that World Bike Relief is doing here. It's been amazing so far. I will. So. I will. It's 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 uh it's only you know it's only postponed so. Uh, as I as I said, I, my promise my promise is that uh, the next time FK is over there um, and it, it works with my schedule, I definitely I'm definitely going to be there. 